Spirit of Texas Bank, Nissan, Slovacek Sausage, and Germania Insurance bring you this clip of the Texas Bucket List. Well, it's time for the Burger of the Week, and this week we bounced on over to Buffalo Gap to try a place known for all the meat on their menu. We headed to the Perini Ranch Steakhouse to try some succulent steak and, well, maybe a burger too. As you drive southwest of Abilene, you'll come across the small town of Buffalo Gap. You wouldn't expect to find much here with a population of 463 people, but if you cross the correct cattle guard, and take a turn at the giant armadillo, you'll run into one of the state's biggest treasures, the Perini Ranch Steakhouse. I was afraid with the name Perini that they thought we were a fancy Italian. <laughs> Tom Perini has been living in this part of Texas since 1965, but prior to becoming the pontiff of the pit, he tried taking a cowboy approach to life with a career in cattle ranching. We'd go out and work cattle and stuff, which I, which I enjoyed and I tried hard, but we had a chuck wagon on the ranch and I caught myself cooking on the chuck wagon. It didn't take long for his bronco busting buddies to realize that Tom had a talent, a real kick to the gut in a good way when it came to grub. It wasn't until Tom's good friend Watt Matthews gave him some advice that changed everything. He just turned to me and he said, you can do more for the beef industry by cooking it than you can by raising it. And he said, you know how to cook beef. And he said, I really think that's what you ought to do. And I did. 31 years later, Tom's food is critically acclaimed. It's even been served at the White House. Just don't call him that fancy French word for someone who cooks. I'm not a chef, a chuck wagon cook. And then the difference is I got my training with cowboys and a real chef goes to school to get their training and that's why they can say chef. Walking around the Perini Ranch is another Texas treat because it doesn't feel like a restaurant. It feels like a home. This is one of the gardens and you know we pick them just like the, the jalapeno peppers and all the stuff. We pick all of that and use it. With such a serene setting, it's understandable why some out-of-towners have a hard time finding this place. So I've had people come to the front door and they say, we're lost, can you help us? And I say, yes. And they said, we're looking for this famous steakhouse. And I said, this is it. They look, look around and they go, no. I said, this is it. Come <laughs> in. <laughs> so we came on in to try a burger. But after some convincing, we might buy into a little more beef than that. We get things started in front of one of the most famous grills in the Lone Star State and a half pound patty of ground chuck. Good quality beef, so where we start. Jason Mays has been working at the Perini Ranch for 21 years. Place you can be proud of working at. Jason gets things started by hand forming a patty that's already been seasoned, getting all that goodness into every morsel of meat. By hand forming it and the heat in your hand, it just, you make this great ball and all the seasoning starts working in. That sure sounds fancy for a chuck wagon cook. We do a few things kind of chefy but not many. <laughs> Back to the burger, which is already doing flips. Oh, fancy. <laughs> While the chuck continues to cook, Jason toasts the bun and takes fresh green chilies, red onions, and mushrooms and grills them up in olive oil. That all gets placed on top of the burger while the bun gets coated with coarse round mustard. This is our Barini Ranch burger. Now it's time to eat. Thank you, sir. Appreciate no it. All right, the ranch burger, beautifully cooked here at the Pretty Ranch Steakhouse, and we will be getting steak, but we've got to try the burger. So we'll go ahead and put on the usual garnishments, the lettuce, tomato, pickles, and onions. And from there, we put on that sourdough bun with that coarse ground mustard straight on top. Oh, and it just smells incredible. It doesn't take long to figure out that this is one of the best burgers we've ever had. It's a work of art. It's incredible. It's perfect. The taste is incredible. It's not overly seasoned and it just bites through perfectly. We're gonna take one more bite and then move on to the steak. This is steak country. And uh, the term, let's go out and get a steak dinner. You know, they still use that here. With that in mind, we couldn't say no. And it doesn't take long for Jason to cook our high choice certified Angus ribeye to a perfect medium rare. Tom's orders. From a steak standpoint, I don't like cooking them over medium because when you go over medium, now the steak takes on a new, new life. 
because you're starting to dry it out and you're starting to make it more firm. And here comes the main attraction. All right, I'm sure that burger was good. Wait till you try this ribeye. All right, I appreciate it. Burger of the week with a twist, a big ribeye steak twist. So let's go ahead and cut into this and see just what a Perini Ranch steak is all about. I think we might be changing the steak of the week. That is how you want to see a steak cooked. Medium rare, little pink on the inside, and that means there's a lot of flavor. Burger of the week with steak dessert. And with that one bite, I needed a minute to myself. It's real Texas. That there's worth a drive from McAllen. I don't know about you, but it was for us. From El Paso. It's all about Texas and how they really cook a steak the right way. From Oma. This was on our bucket list and it's gonna have to stay there until we eat the rest of the menu, so. <laughs> from Tyler. He knows how to cook a steak better than, better than anybody in this part of the world. From Houston. Good food that's bad for you, you gotta do it. That's well worth the stop on the Texas bucket list. This is a Texas steakhouse, and it's right on the verge of being a joint, but it's a nice joint. 